What's the do, YouTube? This is your boy Eco Gamer, and this is my top five most disappointing games of 2015. At number five, we have The Order 1886. Now, I wasn't expecting much from this game. I picked it up for like ten dollars on sale. Um, the game is beautiful. Don't get me wrong; it is by far the best-looking PS4 exclusive to date. However, I didn't hate on the game due to the lack of multiplayer. The game was definitely overhyped. But the game's story was a definitely lackluster. With only 6 hours of gameplay after I beat it. And the story didn't really take off with how the half-breeds teamed up with the vampires. That kind of got the story convoluted. Now don't get me wrong, the gunplay is solid. It definitely feels like a solid shooter for third person. And I am looking forward to the sequel. <clears throat> At number 4. We have this JRPG called Omega Quintet. Now, Omega Quintet is, um, if any of you have heard of the hyperdimension genres, the hyperdimension games I am very much a fan of. This game is similar to that and is trying to take the roots from what hyperdimension had. However, this game of these harem girls who are, have the ability to sing away monsters to protect the city from a ca catastrophe... However, the game has a convoluted inventory system, and to progress in the game, you have to do very tedious side quests, and the story is very lackluster at best. And at number three, we have Batman Arkham Knight. Now, I was planning to get Batman Arkham Knight on the PC. However, the game had issues, so I had to pick it up on PS4. The game looks stunning, and the visuals are amazing. However, the gameplay definitely does feel... Like it could have been improved. Using the Batmobile definitely didn't feel like... It felt like it was taking away from the previous Batman games I had played. Not to mention that this game, game's main villain was very obvious to see who it was. Although the concept of Joker hallucinations of Batman was definitely interesting. The game definitely feels like it was the mo one of the most lackluster Batman games in the series. And at number two, we have... One of Nintendo's big hitters, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Now before you go write a hate comment, hear me out. Xenoblade Chronicles X feels like a very big open world sandbox game that's just full of monsters. The, the game has a lackluster story. You're, you're attacked by aliens. You don't know why. The game doesn't really explain why. The world is very beautiful to diverse, though the graphics are a bit subpar. The music is okay. But the customization system is excellent and great. Now this game is very grindy and you have to grind for hours and hours if you want to get better armor. This game feels a lot like Destiny where you have to, or Monster Hunter. But if you like either of those games, you'll love Xenoblade Chronicles. But I played the previous game and was hoping for a lot more of a story. Which, unfortunately, I did not get that here. And now... For number one, most disappointing game of 2015, Halo 5 Guardians. And the reason this is my number one most disappointing game is because I am a fan of all of the Halo games, and Halo is a big part of my life. And unfortunately, Halo 5, what 343 is doing with this game, seems like they're trying to mainstream it for casual players. Now don't get me wrong, the multiplayer is solid, but it feels like it feels more like Call of Duty. I remember in like Bungie's version of Halo, you would take a full clip of an assault rifle just to die. In this game, a few shots and I was dead. My shield was useless. I felt like I was playing Advanced Warfare with jetpacks. Now when it comes to the story mode, uh, the story mode, I was hoping they would have taken the story with the precursors, ancient aliens that gave their forerunners this, these, this technology. And they're also the ones that created the flood, and I was hoping the precursors would return, and they and Master Chief would have to work hard to awaken the Guardians in order to fight the precursors. Nope, we got Cortana. She came back somehow. wasn't explained. She wants to conquer the universe, enslave everything with AIs. Uh, it feels like it's been there, done that. Mass Effect's done this already, and not to mention. Not to mention the legendary ending shows a halo at the end, which now I'm assuming Cortana is going to activate the halos. It is just, I don't know where 343 is taking the series, but I can't, I can't support Halo anymore because of what they've done with the game. The game isn't terrible, 
But if, you, if you're getting it only for the multiplayer, then you'll be fine. However, if you're getting it for the story, I'll have to warn you. Don't get your expectations high. Now, people, those are my top five most disappointing games. If you want to list yours down in the comments below, let me know. And uh, that's